Hi everyone, Wayne Wallace here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to handle the www and non www uh, name resolution conflict. Basically, the www version of your website, so if somebody types in www.whatever.com, that is different from the non www version so if they just type in the domain name.com without the www then technically those are two different websites and Google may ding you for duplicate content if some people are using you know the non dub 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 version and then other people are maybe you are using the www version so you need to decide which version you want to use and which version you don't want to use and just establish that in the beginning and then move forward every time you use that domain name use it with or without the www so I don't know if there's um, uh, best practice for this but I like it without the www because it's easier to type and most people don't type that anyway unless they're real newbies at the internet and they don't realize that you don't have to type www so it's kind of a standard I believe that the non www version is the one that people generally use and I think most uh, experienced webmasters also do that so that's the way that I go and I would recommend that for you and if I find out anything different I'll let you know but this is how I do it so basically if you type in www dot um, my domain here which this is a brand new domain I just set up and this is going to sell uh, the vapor pens. Um, that's a hot thing right now. So this is going to be a page that sells vapor pens. And I just set up this domain. And when I set up the hosting over at Wealthy Affiliate, I believe they automatically take care of this. Because as you can see, if I type in the www dot and then the domain name and then I hit enter it automatically redirects to the non www version so I think if you're hosting with wealthy affiliate and building websites there then you probably won't have a problem or even a need for this um, and I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit deeper and see what they're doing but if you're hosting somewhere else and you go to the www version and it doesn't redirect then this is what you'll want to do I'm gonna use FileZilla which is an FTP client and if you don't know how to use uh, FileZilla then I'll probably be doing a tutorial on this soon and you can look in my videos to find that and what I've already done is I've already logged in to my account here over at Wealthy Affiliate and I have my HT access file right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this and do an edit okay and I'm gonna open up the file that's on the server okay so here is what my HT access file looks like right now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple lines to this which will set up the permanent redirect for Google and uh, or any search engine that finds my website it's gonna say oh okay he wants the non www version and it's gonna always be that way so over here I've got the two lines basically that you want to put into your HT access file and I'll put these in the description so you can just copy and paste it but it's basically a rewrite rule and this is very complicated stuff so I'm not going to go into the hows and whys of how it works but basically this code right here will say if you find this domain then point it at this domain and you notice here the domain that it's pointing at 
is the non WWW version. Okay. And then this is basically saying if you find the anything, which is the www version, uh, dot com, go to this one instead. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my domain name here and um, let's go ahead and grab this domain name and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to modify that and I'm going to modify this. So I just put my domain name right there in both of those spots and then I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it into my HT access file right underneath the rewrite engine on. Okay, so I simply just added those two lines right underneath the rewrite engine on, and I'm going to save this file, and I'm going to go back to FileZilla, and it's going to say, "Hey, you've you've modified this file. Do you want to upload it to your server?" And I'm going to say, "Sure, go ahead and do that." Okay, so I just uploaded that file to my server. Okay, so now I can go back to my browser window here and if I type in www. it's going to redirect over. So you don't really see any big change here but um, if your website or your host doesn't automatically do this redirect for you then this is a handy little uh, trick to help you get that done. Okay, let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thank you for watching.